so fall is in full swing and it's that perfect time of year to put down some grass seed especially if you're doing cool season grass you want to do that in the fall and for me before I can put down the grass seed I need to put down some topsoil so that's what we're going to do today So I had the soil delivered the other day and uh, it's a 50% compost, 50% topsoil mix. And uh, it looks to be <laughs> really rich. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna put any fertilizer down. I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping that these seeds do really well in it. So um, I don't know, we'll have to see. So let me see if I can try to explain what I'm doing here. The base of the tree, let's call it the left edge. The sidewalk and the driveway and any concrete, let's call it the right edge. So everything between the left edge and the right edge, I want the soil to be in a straight line, which is going to be accomplished with the two by four. So by putting the two by four in between the two stakes, the stakes act as a pivot and I'm gonna drag the other end along the concrete edge. Now this compost and soil mixture is really dry right now. It's, it's actually kind of fluffy. So once I get the first layer in, I'm gonna wet it down, try to get it to settle. And then come back with another layer, build it up a little bit until as it settles, it's perfectly level from the tree to the concrete edge. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys what I'm dealing with right here. This is the grade that the original contractors brought in. And look how hard that is. It's basically nothing but what they call chocolate loam in this area. And it's so sandy with a lot of clay mixed in, uh, but no organic matter. And I don't want that to be the only thing that my new seedlings have to root into. Now for this section, I need it to be really flat along the front of the house. Unfortunately, I don't have any concrete or any guidelines, so I'm gonna put in my own. I'm just using like a two inch, maybe two and a half inch galvanized fence post that I'm gonna use in another project later. 
So I'm just going to bury this a little bit to get it to the level that I want, fill the middle with topsoil, and then drag the straight edge across to level the soil. Now that's about as far as I got, and then this happened. 